What's your question, bro? What's your question? It, it's not fair for you to, because the brother told me to ask him, and he not answering Wait, go ahead, question. ask your question. Okay. Go ahead, ask your question. During the time of slavery. Right. During the time of the first president of the continental United States, was it not a Moor, the first president? Was he a black man? Yes. yes. He was, he was a Moor. He wasn't black. Moor means identify. black. His skin complexion looked like Moore you and I. Moor means navigator. All right, look, look. Let's, That's how Christmas Let's disregard the terms. His skin complexion looked like you and I, right? Yeah, but this right here right? says so-called black. Right. That's what they call take us the, here in America. Take the B off of black. What do it spell? Bro, come on, bro. Lack. Come and on. what do you lack? You lack a nationality. You lack, we don't a, lack a flag. Nationality. You don't have a flag. Bro, you want to come learn or you want to come teach? Because we teaching over we here. We can learn from you, each other. No, nah, bro. You, you, don't, you don't got nothing that we can learn from. You don't got nothing that we can learn from. Look, give me uh see, see that's what brother, that's why we won't answer from your baby. Questions. I'm you learning know, from y'all as nah, well. No, you're not learning, because when we're about to start teaching you, you want to run off. Because the Bible itself tells you black people didn't sell their own people. Right, it wasn't right. more selling other more. It that's was right. let me explain it to you. How about that? You came up, you asked a question, I answered your question, I right, sit there and listen. Listen, all right? All right, go to uh, Joel chapter 2. Yes, sir. Go to Joel chapter 2. The Bible, do you believe in the Bible? You named your son Yahweh, Yahweh Shah. Do you believe in the Bible? That person came out of the Bible. This is different. I know yes the Bible. Yes or no? Do you believe in I the Bible? I know the Bible. Do you believe I in the Bible? I know the Bible. Yes or That's no? No, I'm asking you, do you believe in the Bible or not? I don't believe nothing. Okay, believe so if you don't the believe word in lying. the Bible, then there's nothing that we can say that you're going to agree with. Believe got because I'm going to show now, you ancient history it. out of the Bible. My brother, what's your name? Yeah. Bobby, Bobby, you've been listening for a minute. The brother came up here, lied in front of everybody, saying that we sold our own people. That's not true. Even my brother Bobby, hey, hey, hey Ali, my brother's over there not listening to you. If you're not listening to the word of God, we're not listening to you. But Ali, I'm going to show you what the Bible says about who sold us. No, nah, nah, it ain't no peace between you and I. If you're not keeping God's commandments, there is no peace. I'm going to show you who sold our people into slavery. Read John chapter 3, verse 2. Uh -huh. I will also gather all nations and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Right, so this is a prophecy that has not come to pass yet, but it will in, in, uh, in World War III. The valley of Jehoshaphat will be gathered with all nations. That's right. And guess what? The preparations of that time is happening right now. Right. Russia and Ukraine, that's happening right now. Right. Conflict with China is happening right now. Conflict with Iran coming up with nuclear weapons is happening right now for the biblical prophecy to come of World War III happening in what we call the Middle East. That's right. But if you can't understand that we didn't sell our own people into slavery, then you'll never understand the, the things that's going to happen in the future. That's right. You know? It's always been said if you don't understand your past, you won't understand your future. That's right. So if, you're, if your concept of the past is that your own people sold you into slavery, then you're, you're destined for destruction. Right. That's all that means, Bobby. But Bobby, let me show you how the Bible contradicts all the lies that the so-called white man taught us about how Bobby sold me into slavery. Right. Bobby never sold me into slavery. Me and Bobby got sold together into slavery. Right. Me and Bobby was on the same slave ship. Me and Bobby had the same type of name. Right. Me and Bobby uh, kept the same laws, the same uh, holy days. We ate the same foods, but when we got here in America, you know what happened with me and you, Bobby? You got sold to Master Charles. I got sold to Master Henry. You took Charles' last name. I took Henry's last name. And you know what Master Charles taught you? He taught you to shave your head. He taught you to eat pork. He taught you to uh, celebrate Christmas, celebrate your birthdays, and all the things that separate you from your mo from your God, Bobby. That's what your master taught you. And he taught me the exact same thing. And our job now is to, to show you your true way, to show you the repentance, to show you how to come back to your heritage as an Israelite and not as a black man. Right. Not as a Moor. Not as a Muslim. Not as a so-called uh, Christian following the religion of Christianity. Teach. But to come back as an Israelite of the 12 tribes of Israel, keeping God's laws. Read this in Joel 3. Read. I will also gather all nations Read. and will bring them down into the valley of Jehoshaphat. Verse 4. Verse 4. Uh -huh. Yea, and what have ye to do with me, O Tyre and Zidane? Uh, verse 3, my fault. Verse 3. And they have cast lots 
for my people. So these same other nations that's going to get gathered to World War III, they have cast lots for our people. Meaning, you know what, uh, you got the white man over here, the Arab man, the Chinese man, they all got together and said, you know what, I, I got $20 now, I got $50 now, I got $100. Damn, all right, bet. They cast lots for my people, right? And have given a boy for an harlot. They turn boys, they turn our young sons into breeders. They made them have sex with their own mothers, their own sisters, to create more slaves for the plantation. They sold our boys for breeders, right? And sold a girl for wine. They sold a girl for wine. You know what happened after they sipped that wine with that little girl? They turned their ass into a bed wench. A bed wench. And now the same people that turned our daughters into bed wenches that had blonde hair and blue eyes now got our little daughters, our sisters, wanting to wear blonde hair and put blue contacts in their eyes. That's how destroyed we are as a people. That's why we must repent. That's why America must be destroyed. Read. That they might drink. Yea, and what have ye to do with me? Oh, Tyree and Zidon. Oh, who? Tyree and Zidon. Tyree and Zidon are a uh, hermetic, uh, nilotic tribe of the, of the hermetic nations. The real Africans. Right. right. We are not Africans. Teach. We went into the land of the Africans, right. the land of Canaan, the most high put they behind out, and that became our promised land, the land of Jerusalem. Right. And when we got persecuted in 70 AD, we fled further south and west into Africa, making our way to the coast of Africa. Right. But are we the original inhabitants of that land? No, we are not. Right. No, we are not. But what did the original habits, inhabitants do? Read that part again. Yay! And what have ye to do with me, O Tyree and Zidon? African nations, read. And all the coast of Palestine. The coast of Palestine going into the Arab nations, read. Will ye render me a recompense? Will you pay me back for all the wrong that you did to me? No, read. And if ye recompense me swiftly and speedily, will I return your recompense upon your own head? Keep reading. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold. The scriptures say, the Bible says that the Arab nations and the African nations Jeez. have taken the silver and the gold of the Most High God. You know what that silver and gold is going into? It's going into treasures that came out of the, the, the temple. <laughs> Excuse me. The temple at that time, but it's also going into the Israelite men. They were taken, like Daniel was an Israelite man. He was taken into captivity. You, Bobby, you're one of the Israelite men. You were taken into captivity. Give me uh, give me Isaiah 13 about the gold of Ophir. Bring it out. I'm going to show you how the Israelite man is likened into gold. So that silver and that gold is going into uh, the high-level Israelites and the regular common everyday Israelites as well. You got that for me in Isaiah chapter 13, um, verse 12. Read that. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 12. Uh -huh. I will make a man, the most high God, through his son Jesus the Christ in the spirit of this Bible, will do what? I will make a man uh -huh. more precious than fine gold. Than fine what? Fine gold. Flip back to, uh, um, where are we at? Joel 3. Read that. Verse Joel chapter 3, verse 5. Uh -huh. Because ye have taken my silver and my gold. My silver and my gold, Bobby. You see that? The scripture says he'll make a man more precious than gold. You are the precious gold to the most high God. Right. And you were taken into captivity from, from your homeland, from the land of Canaan, fleeing persecution. Made your way to the western coast of Africa, and then the so-called white man picked your behind up and brought you over here and turned you into a slave. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. 
IUIC, we deliver the truth.